All right. Um, today we're going to be have a look with the Azure Virtual Network and the setup uh, IAS um, Ubuntu server and as a PHP server and also a MySQL database server in Ubuntu as well. Um, basically, we'll have them to be able to connect to the internet and so we can test it from our own machine. Um, the steps will be um, we're going to create the VPC first and the um, related subnets and then we're going to set up the MySQL database server and also set up a PHP server then configure PHP file for connection and eventually we're going to test our connection. Okay, let's start. All right, let's come to the login with Azure for student and I'm going to create a resource as a VPC in this case. Um, Okay, we're just creating a virtual network. Um, give a new resource group. And we'll give a name for virtual networks. Um, to be easy to do in a task, we're selecting the permitted region, which is the West US 3. Security, leave us default IP address. Um, we're going to add in a new subnet in this case. Um, so that's going to be a new private network, which is for the database. Starting IP address, starting from 10.0.1.1, and we'll give IP address with slash 24 should be enough. Okay, starting address should be zero in this case with network IP address. All right, um, we don't really need any gateways. Security groups, um, we'll create that in later on when we have it. Okay, so just add it. Go to next text. Well, review and create. All right, so we're going to create in the first as the virtual network and plus the resource group. Then, um, once this has been finished, then we're going to be set up their um, SQL server. Um, while we're still waiting, I'm just saying I've been prepared on my SQL server user data. This is the one is going to be run as they initialize your MySQL server. And what they're going to do is they're going to install the MySQL server um, as a batch file. And they will be set up the remote connections. It's changed the settings so they can be um, um, so they can be remotely logged in. And then we what are we going to do is we're going to create in the password and the username. In this case, is um, you can name it as your own name or password. I'm just for demo purpose. I just use an easy name and password. Then we will be creating that user with the password and give the permissions for us to remote. Right, these are all the steps we're doing. So let's go to resource first. Currently we can see, um, if you look at the typologies, we can see we have the networks been created and we do have default and private network. Um, okay, so we were gonna be creating a first virtual server as, so we're gonna choose an Ubuntu server 18.04 LTS. Just create, click create. We're choosing the ones we just been set up as a demo. And we'll give a name. We can just call the MySQL DB and choose another West 3 standard type images. And we will be using password just for easy connection. All right, just type in the username and password so we can log in. Um, leave the default option with remote connecting, default disk settings. Network in these cases, we will be choosing the subnet as a private uh, because we don't want anyone to go to the internet um, to be reached by internet straight away. Right. Um, public IP address in these cases, um, we will, doesn't need to give public address, we'll choose none. That's basic network. Leave us defaulting, we'll leave us say once it's been deleted, that's okay. We go to management. Sorry, right. if you can want to shut it down or to set up, so you can have the scripts in here. 
but we'll leave the default options in here. Just go to the create. Um, all right, before we, we're doing our steps, we need to implement this um, user data script. So what's coming in the advanced tab, there was a custom data and the cloud I net um, stage, which is where we can run our scripts. So what we're going to do is copy everything, including the tabs, paste in here. Right, um, this is going to be running in your system, and later on you can install the MySQL database and set up related information in there. So we'll leave that one for the options. Go to review and create. And once we're done, just review it, just click create. Okay, this will take um, maybe a few minutes, normally maybe three minutes to five minutes, depends on the performance or network connection, or depends on the Azure um, service availabilities. Um, the only thing we need to change is after that, we need to configure the network um, security group to give the MySQL connection permissions. So currently is trying to create the resources, so we we'll just wait a little bit. And once that's been done, yeah, as you can see, this first one's been created. We actually can go to that um, NSG group. As you can see, we got a SSH by default. Then we need to add in a new inbound security rules, which is, um, well, I mean, you can limit it to the, the, um, the source location, but since we are, there's no internet connection, make that easy. I'm just choosing the services as my SQL which will give you that um, port link and the priority. All right, once been created, we'll leave that running. And the source, if you want to limit it, um, you can actually limit it to the IP address uh, range. So in that case, it uh, could be my IP address or could be IP address range. Um, in that case, in at the beginning will be 0.0.0.0 slash .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 16, limited. Okay, we'll click add. All right, that will give us remote connection to that. Um, so if we're coming back to originally the, um, the DB connections resource group, we should be see that the DB has been created. Okay, um, we can't really see anything now, so we'll leave that running. Meanwhile, we're going to do in the second thing to set up the web server. Right, to set up web servers, we do the similar ones. We go to the resources, I'm creating the Ubuntu, oh sorry, not the 21. Uh, I'm going to run. Uh, it's actually 18.04. And we're going to choose in the resource group, we just create it. Its name is web server. And using that password just for easy for me to log in um, go to next stage disk leave it and come to networking uh, we're going to choose in um, public IP because we want to access so we'll leave the default option with the web server IP and in the default um, subnet, so we can have interaction. Go to management. Yeah, leave it. Monitoring advanced. Okay, so these are the parts we want to install our settings. So we're going to copy um, from default settings, web server until here. I think we need to be going to until here. Oh, sorry, we actually just come to here as supposed to work. Sorry, I should have been making a better um, documentation. All right, I'll paste in here. So what they're doing is actually going to be install, updating the server and install the Apache 2 and install the PHP and related models, modules and eventually going to restart in the PHP so we can be able to access with the PHP info.php um, website. Okay, right. Okay, so we go to next. Right, 
is great, great. Um, one of the things in, in the left side, the uh, Instagram MySQL client, it's not necessary. So if it doesn't really need it, we can get rid of that part. Um, it's not uh, compulsory. But anyway, we leave it running for now. So that would take about probably one minute. And as we're saying, we've been set up a previously database connection and the password. Once this one's been created, um, what we're going to do next is create our customized PHP file. And that file is going to be for us to set up the connection between the PHP server to the MySQL server. Um, in there, I have been a sample PHP script prepared. So in that sample script, um, what we're going to do in is we're going to be set up there, um, the DB name, DB users, password connection. And what they're going to do is they're going to be whenever they're finished, they're going to show in how many tables in that um, default database, which is the MySQL database. OK, and this one is finished. As we said, the post work we have to do is set up the, um, we need to give a permissions for that network. So let's go to resource first. All right, that web server has been created. As you can see, we've got a new website coming. Um, we can copy that one if I open the link to open. And we won't be able to see the result coming is because we don't really give the firewall permissions. So what we're going to do is go to the web server, go to networking. And as you can see, we only have SS connection. So we're going to be have with HTTP and HTTPS first. So we're going to use an HTTP, um, give the permissions in here. And also creating another inbound policy as HTTPS and give another priority, 311. All right, um, so that will take a little bit while once that's been ready. As you can see, still running there. And uh, OK, it's all finished. So we just refresh the page. All right, as you can see, we can see the pages are coming. That means that a patch has been installed. And if you want to test it, if the PHP is um, accessible, so what we can do is just type in the info.php. Well, if that should, if you can see the screen is coming through, which means your PHP is also modules being installed. Okay. So next stage is um, we're going to do is remote into that PHP server. Right. So we come to our Azure page. Um, so just SSH. With an IP address, and we have to log in. So we're going to be using the Azure uh, user. Yes, accept the policy. Type the password. All right. So once we log in, um, well, we can go to the folder which is the, which contains the um, all the files we need. It as you can see, we have the info PHP files being created. So next bit, we're going to be creating uh, a PHP uh, file. So we're going to copy that one. So we will be creating connect a PHP file. Yeah, then we'll copy every script. So you might need to customize your own DB users password and network IP address. Um, well, sorry, I need to double check is the IP address we have. So let's go to our new tab. Just make sure that IP address that we have is the right one. Um, we go to DB connections and our database server. So you can see the IP address will be showing up is 0 .0 0.0.1.4, which is the ones we have in here. All right, we're coming back. So we're going to copy everything on the list. Just paste it into a document. Once you've finished, um, we can just control X, save the changes. All right. You'll be able to see that was new files being created as a connect to PHP. If you want to test the connection, we'll just clear this page first. Um, so we're going to run it. It's going to run that um, PHP um, to see if they've been connected. So basically right click, choose and paste in here. 
right? As you can see in here, it's been connected and there was a give IP address. And we can also come in back to the web pages, um, just change that to connect.php. And it actually tells me we've been directly connected to the DB with MySQL database with IP address and also have the 31 tabs as default option. All right. Thank you for watching.